welcome to it's Rafiq. in today's video we are going to discuss the, uh, the question back questions mcq questions and short questions of chapter 6 the chapter name is array in c programming and uh, the question thank you for zunit for sharing the and questions from question bank and if you also record the question then you can go to my telegram group and you can download it from there so the first mcq multiple choice question an array is a collection of the options are different data types same data types both a and b none of them it will be a array is a collection of same data types so i have written the answer here then number two array elements are stored in the options are scattered in memory location scattered means here and there suppose the if i arrange the location as one two three then suppose uh, the first element in number one position second can be in fifth position third can be in eighth position like that and sequential memory location it is uh, in a sequence like one two three four and so on both a and b none of them the correct answer will be sequential memory location so this will be the answer for question number two then a character array always end with it is null character when we declare an character array the last character of that array is always a null character the null character indicate the end of the character array then number four array cannot be initialized if they are this one i am confused in this question i have not understood the options still i have given as none of them if any one of you know the correct answer please uh, please write in comment section an array index start with it will be zero array always start with zero then number six what are the advantages of array the options are it is easier to store elements at same data type it is only correct answer the number two or b the element in an array cannot be stored it can be stored object of mixed data type sorry we cannot mix the uh, store mixed data type here the index of the first element of an array is one this is also wrong so the correct answer is a it is easier to store element of same data type now question number seven its element of an array has its own it will be index number eight what is the correct declaration of an array the first one see int this is the data type array then in within, uh, within square bracket 10 and b int array within square bracket 10 and semicolon and in first one option there is no semicolon but uh, second one there is a semicolon and we know that in c programming we always terminate a statement with semicolon so number b will be correct and number c is incorrect because it have a uh, curly braces and number d it is incorrect because it here the int is declared in capital letter number nine the object of an array is called as it will be elements of an array number 10 a set of consecutive memory location is called it is array now number 11 what is an element its data item of an array is called element number 12 what type of data array can only store array can store only similar type of data similar means an integer array can store only integer data and character array can store only character data now we'll move to short question what is an array array is a collection of similar data items where elements are stored in contiguous memory location in our computer computer mean a uh, contiguous means sequential or serial like one two three four number two what is index the relative position of the data item of an array is called index the array index start from zero what are the limitation of an array this is we can store only similar type of data inside an array and the capacity of an array is fixed number four what is fixed size 
the size of an array is fixed size for example in an integer array with size 10 we cannot store 11 integers so this one you can write number 5 what is homogeneous data a collection of similar data type is called homogeneous data i think you have already got this one in social science and science homogeneous means same kind of object an array we can store only same kind of data that is known as homogeneous data for example in an integer array for a collection of integers or collection of characters and what is contiguous storage the memory location one after another is called contiguous storage then number seven how to declare an array in c we can declare an array by providing the type of the array followed by array name within square bracket size of the array for example here int this is the data type of the array what type of information it can be stored arr this is the name of the array and within square bracket 10 this is the size of the array now let's move to the long question question 1 how to initialize an array in c programming so this is the answer we can initialize an array in c programming in following ways there are many ways i have uh, here mentioned only three ways the first way we can uh, write the values of an integer array in within brackets and separate them by commas and the second one we can initialize the element of an array by their index like if the array is num then num 0 equal 4 num 1 equal 2 num 2 equal 5 and so on and if it is an character array then we can initialize them by writing the characters within single quotes and one more array is there if we want to if we want to uh, write an empty set of array then we can just write uh, the array name equal just bracket open and call it uh, and close then all the element will be treat as zero number two how to insert and print array elements here we can use loop it can be any loop while loop also for loop also that's why i have mentioned here only loop we can use loop to insert and print array element for example we have an integer array num with n size we can write uh, n size we can write following code segment to insert the elements here this is comment inserting array element and i am writing a for loop int i equals 0 and it till 10 n is the size of the array because that's why till n and i plus plus here i have displayed a message to the user that you enter something and by scanf i am reading the values and i have stored inside the array num because uh, as i have already mentioned here my name of the array is num so i have stored in num and again uh, the same segment we can use for displaying the output also so this one i am using for printing the element for int i equal 0 i less than n i plus plus print percent d then num in square bracket i so this way we can print it and this part is for input or insert element now question number three how can an element be searched in an array we can search an element from an array by comparing its array element with searched element suppose i want to search four from my array then what I will do from the zero index, I am going to compare the value one by one. If I found the value with any index, then I will display the answer as the item is found. If I didn't uh, get the result, then I will say that it is not found. So here will be the code segment. I have taken uh, two integer variable item. Here this is the number whatever the user want to search and flag I am keeping as zero flag i am here using it to means if we found any the means while we compare the value if i found it then we will make the flag as one that means i have found and the, if the flag is zero then it means i didn't found the value 
and here I have read the value of item from the user by writing this two statement and here one for loop to find the element or int i equals 0 i less than size i assume that the size of the array is size and i plus plus and after that if a r r or we can write array if array in which square bracket i equal item if i found it then flag equal 1 uh, uh, otherwise i will do nothing just i will come out from the loop and now again if statement i am writing here if flag is 1 then item is found else if it is not 1 then it is not found so this way we can do the answer of question number 3 now let's move to the question number 4 write the advantages and disadvantages of an array the advantages of an array is we can store multiple values inside in a same variable and it can be declared once and reuse multiple times means we can just declare once the array and we use it for multiple purposes and it is easier to declare and use and disadvantages wastage of memory memory space if all the elements are not used suppose i have declared one array with size 10 but i have entered only five or six elements then what happened that five remaining five or four memory spaces will be just reserved by the array so it is a wastage of memory and cannot use multiple types of data at same time if i want to store same time integer and character together then i cannot do this in an array and the size of the array is fixed once it is declared if i declare the size of an array as 10 then i cannot change it while executing it it will remain 10 only so this is also a disadvantage so these are the advantages disadvantages of an array if you want uh, the question answers from other chapters also you can write in comment section and also you can share the pictures of your question bank because at present i don't have the question bank and thank you zunaid for sharing the questions you can get pdf copy of the answers in from your in my telegram channel thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye